guys welcome to another video of simulink tutorial last time we saw how to implement one dimensional lookup table so this time we are going to see how to implement two dimensional lookup table so let's see the model so take the 2d lookup table block from simulink library and two repeating sequence trails block and a scope double click on repeating sequence trail block you can see here vector of output values is even and for second block it is e2 so what are this e1 and e2 vector so e1 is a column matrix of 3 times 1 3 times 2 and 3 times 3 values and e2 is a vector of 1 2 3 which appears 3 times in the column vector so these are two column vectors the next is double click on the 2d lookup table block so you can see here the breakpoint 1 is 1 colon 3 so it ranges from row vector 1 2 3 and breakpoints 2 is 1 colon 3 so it contains 3 columns so table data is which I have manually entered so these are just values such that the row, the value of the row into 10 into the value of column. So if you see here, click on the edit table and breakpoints, you will be able to see this table. So 1 into 10 is 10 into this column value which is which gives us 10 then 20 30 20 40 60 30 60 90 and so on so close this table so it's just a simple table data so close this so what is u1 and u2 for this lookup table so so u1 and u2 are the indices to access the table data so u1 is row index and u2 is the column index so we are going sequentially so this implementation is such that it will cover first row first then second row and the third row and while doing this it will cover one two three columns for each row so before simulating this model i just want to tell you that since we are using repeating sequence trail block we are using solver as fixed step solver and it is discrete so you can see here fixed step discrete and step size is 1 and start time is from 0 to 9 so now if you simulate this model you can see here we are getting the same sequence of values on this graph that is 10 20 then 30 then 20 then 40 60 then 30 60 and 90 so this implementation was such that it will cover all the values one more thing if you just want to access random data from this lookup table that is if you don't want to go sequentially you can give any random values for u1 and u2 and see if you are getting the correct value so try doing that now if you think of fuel table which is a two dimensional table so in which the load and the rpm is provided and based on that the table value is selected so that's how they implement fuel table in automotive industry so this is how to access two dimensional table that's all for this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys thank you for watching